Hey everybody, I'm Jay Martin. It's a Napoleon game. Thanks for watching. 1v1 on Grassy. I'm the Prussian player here. I have a pretty standard build. Five lights with a meat shield, a bunch of line, four cav. And I'm playing against a uh, dude. I'm not really sure what clan it is. LOS and FM wearing both tags. I don't know what those clans are. So anyway. Uh, but this game happened and this person was really helpful. Had a lot of suggestions like mostly involving me fucking myself. So I thought I'd do a real quick video and uh, highlight some things that you shouldn't do or some bad ideas. Um, first of all, let's pause the game. The opponent here... Uh, two things I want to talk about. The first is that on a grassy game you don't want to separate like this. He's kind of trying to work into two flanks here. I guess this works against campers, but this isn't good against opponents with actual maneuver. And this game is 100% about a maneuver. Now the right side of his uh, army is very strong. There's three lights in front and then I don't know why you bring Highland to uh, a grassy game, but he has three Highland and two German. Uh, four Highland, excuse me, and then um, some Dragons. The left side of the line, however, is, is a much different story. There's two lights and you have Fensible, 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 Fensible backed up by I guess two foot. So the left the recap, the right side of the line is fairly strong, but the left side is like all fencibles it seems. Um, two things, you don't want to split your army at all and secondly you can't rely on fencibles to be re uh, reliable can't rely on fencibles to be reliable uh, line infantry. They just don't form the same function. So what I do is I push all of my light infantry to the one flank. And grassy games, when you have like a England v Prussia matchup, or a lot of times the early game is just a light on light engagement, and we see who has advantage there. It's a little different, like against France or something. But a pretty classic matchup is like Prussia v Prussia or England v Prussia, something like that. And you can't really afford to split your lights up. You really want to have your lights all bunched up and. You know, because more firepower is better, and light of tree is superior to line of tree on this kind of map. That's why we limit it to five. So he does this kind of thing where it looks like he wants me to advance into this pocket and he'll like try to flank me or something. I don't really get that. I'm gonna go to a little fast forward here. Uh, don't really get that. He figures out that's not gonna work because the obvious flaw to that is like, come on, his flank there. So it looks like he kind of gets back in line. But we still have a problem that the light infantry are still separated. There's three over here on the right, and then the two over here on the left. And as the game develops, I'm just going to keep pushing my light infantry uh, all grouped up on the right, so we'll have 5v3. If this happens to you, you have a serious problem. You can't allow um, your opponent to get a light infantry advantage on you. You need to work really hard to prevent that from occurring. And he does this maneuver again, like he wants over here to envelop or whatever, and or maybe he's just going to try to engage on the left. And I think this persistent concept this player is using of occupy or you know de deploying two separate forces just doesn't work. A really important skill that really good players have is that they're flexible and you can't be committed to one particular uh, tactic or plan because plans have to change in the middle of the game. Now I want to, another issue I want to talk about. So over here we have the two light infantry, the two regular line, and the four fencibles against my what's going to turn out to be six line. Over on this side uh, it's again all of my lights against just three his. This guy is a real problem in that somehow he's managed to make his army weak everywhere. They're weak over here because I have more lights than him, so I should be able to carry this flank. And he's weak over here because his line is for fencibles. Now he's square enough against six of my line. But he actually can't engage here, because if I just walked forward and shot it out with his fencibles with the three cav I have available, he'd lose. So, 
somehow, and I'm not really sure, I guess all the money went into the Highland foot, but he's kind of feigning this direction, and I'm withdrawing because I'm very comfortable just sh having a light shoot out there, but in all likelihood, I could probably just march up with the sixth line in the cav and wreck the left side. It's probably what I would have done if I was better at the game, but I'm not. So, start the fight with the lights over here. I guess we can fast forward this. Start the fight with the lights over here. <clears throat> he has a small tactical problem that his light infantry, I'm sure we've covered this, is far too close to his line. So you're going to watch as I start returning fire. All the bullets that miss his lights are going to go f through and shoot his line. So the Highland's down to 107. So he's taking unnecessary casualties. Now, a real flaw, I think, is that while the engagement over here is going, you have to recognize that I had the advantage. And he's not pushing with the left. You know, if you're going to let your opponent dictate when the engagement occurs, where the engagement occurs, you're going to lose. And so this is very much, I chose to engage here, and that's it. If you let that engagement happen on my terms, you're probably going to lose. So if you let your opponent engage you on their terms, you're probably going to lose. This is a really good reason to be aggressive. All right? Because by being aggressive, you choose where the engagement happens. Now I start a cav charge on the far right here. I'm not sure what he's trying to do with his dragoons, but I want to pick off this rightmost unit and I get a pretty good charge in. Now another problem occurs is that he uses his cav... Oh, that was a good charge. Just routed that unit. Actually shattered it. He's going to use his cav to counter charge mine. Another problem, this is being reactive again, is you can't use your cav to counter, counter charge cav. It's just not profitable. You really need to be using your cav to threaten the opponent. And in this point, he's using his cav purely as a defensive measure. And he's going to get caught in a square and shot up pretty good. Now, I think my cab unit's going to route. But my cab unit has kind of served its purpose at this point. It's, oh, I'm actually going to get it out alive. So I'm going to be able to use that. It's going to be valuable late game. And then we have a we oh, okay, I routed. Uh, then we have a wasted cab unit from the opponent. And the state of the game right now is that now that I've kind of broken the line over here, um, I have a pretty overwhelming firepower advantage in this area of the map, but then nothing's happening on the left. And I'm not doing anything really intelligent right now, same line, but we've just got more firepower on the right side of the line than he does, and the important part is that he's not reacting at all to do anything about it. The left sides have just stared at each other the entire game, and now that let's call it the early game is over, I just get a reform, and bunch all my lights up, and I can start working this guy from right, right to left, and kind of go this direction. And that's kind of what you're going to witness. The other thing I get going for me is I have more cav than this guy, and I don't understand this movement here, where one random line unit comes down. It seems like he's kind of retreating to form a new line. That's probably a good idea. Probably the right play right there, but. Otherwise, not a lot going on. There's some, you know, random line units kind of pulling back. At this part, when we hit into the mid-game, what I do is I pull back everybody to reform my lights. I feel like I've won a pretty good advantage there in the early game, so we reform. And that has me with a bunch of five lights here coming up on this guy. I believe he has one, two light infantry left. And he starts to reform a line, and that's probably the right move. So we enter the mid game. Probably could have done this a little bit faster, actually, if I was more on my game. I'm a little bit rusty here. In the uh, cab department, I've got three of them hanging out. And he's withdrawn to form a new line. Still the same problem. The light infantry is way too close to the line. You're going to take overflow bullets or splash damage, whatever term you want to use for that. <clears throat> and I believe at this point I start to, um, I notice that 
the far end of his line he has light infantry that just aren't supported by line infantry and so I charge a cav unit into these lights because that's like a free meal and again we have cav being used defensively he's just counter charging my cav but I'm very uh, happy to trade my cav to clear out the rest of his light infantry and that's kind of what happens now using cav defensively like that is not a good way to win games because even the best case that happens for him is that we trade cav units but because the fight occurred in his line i'm going to wipe out a bunch of his lights uh at the same time a little bit of a movement problem for me i'm trying to bunch my lights up there and i take shots here that's me trying to get my uh cav unit back out which i believe i'm successful at this time and because he doesn't have enough light infantry now, I can just expend all the ammo that my lights have left uh, shooting up uh, his guys. So we start doing that now. And more casualties overflow, needless casualties come back. And he has the same problem, still has unguarded lights, so I send the same damn cav unit in again to try to clear up this problem on the right. Notice on the left that I've just walked a cav unit um, completely behind him. Uh, if that happens to you, then you're doing something wrong. Um, you shouldn't allow your opponent just to move uh, cav units into uh, your rear like that. Or if you do, you should react to it. Like he has this random foot unit here that he's not really doing anything with that could probably be used to solve this problem. So I kind of get bored and I decide that I probably have the game in hand so I move all my line on the left up. And what I'm trying to do, I wish they showed the firing arc in replays, but I'm just going to make it so that my line is uh, in range of his lights and then again his uh, fencibles behind that are going to take all the overflow bullets. But that's a lot of firepower that's about to open up on all this light infantry that's about seven line units. I probably could have stretched out a little bit more, but it's okay. And so you have the culmination of all these problems is that I have a light infantry advantage still on the right that's kind of wrecked his right flank. I don't understand why these three line units in the back here, I guess in that fourth one, aren't participating in the battle. Um, but they're certainly not. I have no explanation of why that could seem like a good idea. And what you have right now is a firefight that is completely... Um, the odds are rigged in my favor, or positionally that there, there's no way that I can lose this, and that just has everything to do with unit positioning and maneuver, and that's what this game is about. It's about unit positioning and maneuver. And so uh, we shoot it out for a little bit. Eventually I clear it as the last light infantry, and then I withdraw my lights to keep the range advantage. This is a good move from him. He tries to get on my flank here. Um, a little uh, too little too late probably. This is when me going in narrow like this really is the full eye. I should have stretched out but um, at this point it's not really a big deal. I finally send the cab charge in from the back just to kill his general. But other than that, it's a pretty simple game, and there's still all these units in the back that aren't being used, you know, so there's a lot better ways that you can execute. And these are some flaws that, you know, if you're using them in your game, try to unuse them, you know. And that was it. That was the rage quit. So um, GG to Acolyte the White from LOS and FM. And uh, there you go. Salute Huntsman. I'll see you in the next video.